So there's a saying, it says that it takes three apples today to get as much calcium as an apple that, that our grandparents would have eaten. And that's because over the last 50 years, the nutritional density level of, of calcium, of magnesium, of, of certain vitamins and other minerals have dropped in, in the food we're producing. That's the situation with a lot of food that's grown in by conventional agriculture today. It, it doesn't have nutrient density that it's supposed to. So people are, are eating this food, expecting to get health benefit from it, and they're not. The fact that we're growing still with this time of the year is really amazing. When you're talking about fruit trees being able to size a very heavy crop and push a lot of fruit wood is, is the, the ultimate sign of a healthy tree and a lot of energy in the tree. So these are, are expressing that very nicely. The frontier we're looking to get to at AEA is, is to be able to help farmers raise food that not only fulfills nutritional requirements but actually acts as medicine for the people who eat it. I think agriculture is really at a crossroads. I think there, there are several key forces that are, are coming together right now uh, that affect farmers very, very directly. Labor is more expensive, water is more expensive, inputs are more expensive, and there are also new pressure coming from government regulation as far as, uh, as, far as chemicals and fertilizers. And then there's also the changing consumer market. Consumers are looking for food that's healthy and, and safe for their families and um, looking to, to things like organics to guarantee that. That demand on the consumer side is what's going to make the fruit that we help to grow more marketable. If we can come out with a fruit that's that's large, that's firm, that tastes good, and and that also is raised with a minimal chemical input, and that we can pass it on to, to consumers, then then that's going to be a win-win.